today, we're thinking about the religious mandate to offer hospitality to strangers. Who is moved to act and why? So from the very beginning, the Torah is concerned with the presence of strangers in our midst. Here's Rabbi Jack Moline. Uh, in the story of Abraham, his tent is open in all four directions so that, uh, as our rabbi said, anybody coming from any place uh, will know that they have a welcome spot with our patriarch. But later in the Torah, as we uh, become a people, uh, the commandment to, to treat the stranger well, to welcome the stranger, and to remember that we were strangers in the land of Egypt is a central commandment that is repeated uh, more than any other commandment in the entire Torah. As the new host of Interfaith Voices, I want to thank you for this honor on behalf of our small and scrappy team. In this story, we sought to bring attention to the struggles of the stranger and the mandate to be welcoming, a shared calling heard across faith and belief systems. At Interfaith Voices, the Wilbur Award is coveted. I am literally looking up at them right now. It, for me, is an affirmation of our mission, the importance of bringing stories to the airwaves that promote understanding and encourage all of us to explore the events unfolding in our world through the lived experience of people of faith and goodwill. As the new host of Interfaith Voices, I look forward to working and learning from all of you, religion communicators and reporters from across the country, and... I hope to join you next year in Chicago. Thank you again.